I mean, this is my favorite local artist is my best friend, Sasa Claus. <laughs> um, it's not because I'm biased. I think that I, I'm also privileged because I get to see and hear stuff that isn't released to the public yet. And, you know, I get to just sit at home with her and hang out and see how creative she is. You know, we just play instrumentals and we freestyle and we just have the most fun. And I kind of have that inside look into how creative she is as an artist as a whole, not just a musician. So it's not just bias, I promise. My favorite local song at this moment in time, um, and I don't even know if I should say it's my favorite because I cannot get it out of my head. It's starting to control my entire life. But my favorite song of the moment is Motobla Moto by Juju Boy. It is so catchy. It is so, like, I hear it immediately. I need to dance, I need to move. It's so good. I love that song. Again, not just because he's my friend. Um, I love all, I'm pretty sure I love all Sutswana food. But I love like sauna breads, so like madombi, maguinya, I love, love, love that. And just any kind of stew, I think the way that stew is made, probably in Africa as a whole, but in Botswana is so different. Like you can't go to like England or something and be like, make me a banging stew. It's just, it's just not going to be right. <laughs> so any kind of sauna stew and just like dipping madombi or maguinya into it is like heaven. My fa I feel like these questions are going to get me in trouble. Um, <laughs> my favorite fashion designer, um, it's so difficult because I have s there's so many incredible and talented Botswana fashion designers. I would say though that my I have two favorites, so um, in no particular order, Albakwe Mulusiwa of Gilded Sands is my favorite. And he's not my favorite because he makes beautiful clothes. I feel like every designer here makes beautiful clothes, but there's something about the way that the clothes feel. You can be wearing something that is corseted and laced up and has all these things and you still feel so comfortable and so free. And to me that is a very, very important element of fashion. And then also um, Damo Musini of Bondville. He um, started off as a stylist and a fashion producer, TV producer, and he just recently um, released his line. And I just loved it. It was, you know, urban, but really soft at the same time. And I just love that element and that mixture. So those two definitely are, are my favorites at the moment. <laughs> I am ashamed to say that even though I love travel, there's so many incredible places in Botswana that I have not been to or that I've only passed through on the way to somewhere else. So maybe I'm not even qualified to probably answer this question, but um, I would have to say Kasane. I did really enjoy my time in Kasane. I love how quiet it is and how relaxed the vibe is. I love how you can walk to the store to buy a bottle of milk or whatever and just see like elephants passing by um, everything yeah so I would say Kasane. I would say Botswana's X Factor something that we have that is really really unique to this country I guess is our people um, it's kind of like a very I don't want to say lame but <laughs> everybody knows that people are always like Botswana's real diamonds are its people oh my god so cliche but <laughs> um, it's, it's true though, I feel like Botswana are very friendly people most of the time and um, there's something about the vibe of Botswana as well that I think influences the people. Botswana is kind of very relaxed and slow paced um, in comparison to a lot of places outside of Botswana and I think that people kind of absorb that vibe, you know, and, and I love that about Botswana. If I was to host a visitor, from outside, I would probably take them to my home village. Um, I think that maybe that's like a cliche, I feel like maybe that's like a pageant answer <laughs> and it's like super cliche. But <laughs> um, I think that everybody has a special connection with their home village and the place that they grew up, the place that they called home. And there's something about villages in Botswana in general that you can't find anywhere else in the world. The, the friendliness, the homeliness, um, the happiness, but it, it would definitely be something I would want to do at a specific time, you know, like maybe around Christmas or Independence where you have those awesome Khotla celebrations with all the traditional food and the traditional dancing and yeah, that's 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 what I would go for. My favorite Sidzana saying, which actually ties in with um, why I love the book and why the book was such a massive inspiration to me is um, 
which means, I mean, it doesn't translate well, but if you don't speak or understand Setswana, it basically means um, the greatest battle or the greatest way to go to war is, you know, with your mouth verbally. It's kind of the Setswana version of the pen is mightier than the sword, except it's about speaking rather than writing. And I just love that saying. I do not have one particular favorite movie. I'm a big movie person. I studied film, so it's impossible. But some super, super honorable mentions in no particular order is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Love that movie. Synecdoche, New York. Incredible movie. Um, blue is the warmest color. Love. I am a very... Um, in my personal life, I'd like to believe I'm a very strong person, so I don't cry that much about things that occur in my personal life or my emotions and stuff. So I think art is my outlet. So basically movies, <laughs> movies make me cry, sometimes even like commercials. It's very strange. Yeah, so I am very emotional. Art makes me cry. <laughs>